All right, so today we're gonna to set up Windows on a Mac computer. This applies to those of you that have to run Windows or need to have Windows, but you're an Apple user. So if you need to have Windows or have a Windows environment for a specific software application or maybe for work, this is ideal for that type of user and it's very simple to do. So we're gonna make a quick checklist. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have a licensed version of Windows on your computer. So have a licensed version, go to Microsoft's website, make that purchase. The second thing you wanna do is you wanna create an ISO file, which is also known as an image file of that licensed software and save it to your desktop on your Mac. And you can see I have mine right here. You can save it on your desktop, you can save it on a flash drive, doesn't matter, but create that image file, save it somewhere that you can easily browse on the Mac that you're gonna set up, boot camp, set up Windows on, have it there. So I'm gonna show you how to create that file or where uh, the steps to create that file. Apple has already created a support article for us and it's called Create an ISO Image for Bootcamp from Windows Installation Media. I'm gonna link this in the description, but here's the page I'm talking about. And this is the actual article I'm referring to. So if you open up that article, you'll see how to create that image, the steps to create your own ISO using the Windows DVD so you can save it and be able to load Windows on your Mac. So that's all you need to get started. It's very easy. We're now going to launch Boot Camp and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to partition the drive, browse for the media, and get this installation started. So click on search, type in Boot Camp. Keep in mind, you wanna make sure that this is an Intel-based Mac. This is not gonna work with old computers, older Macs from 2000, I think seven is when, or 2008 is when they introduced the Intel-based Macs. Anything that's too old to run, it's just not gonna work properly, so don't try it. But if you bought your MacBook somewhere, or bought your computer somewhere around 2010 and, or 2009 and up, you should be fine. So just keep that in mind. Select continue. And then now you wanna browse for that ISO image that you created. So you can see mine already has it here, but just to, for tutorial, for uh, teaching purposes, I'm gonna select choose, go to my desktop, and I know I have my file right here. It's an old Windows 7 professional file that I have. To partition the drive, basically what you're doing is, I like to think of a partition, uh, think of a hard disk um, as a, like a piece of pie, you know, um, and, what you're doing here is you're cutting off a piece of that pie in order for Windows to have its own individual space. So what Bootcamp has done is, is it has suggested 40 gigs of space for the Windows operating system. And I personally don't think that's enough. I mean, if this is gonna be, if this is gonna be a production computer where you're going to be using both operating systems, Mac OS and Windows, you wanna make sure you have enough space for Windows. My computer came with a 256 drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna partition off about 100 gigs. I would comfortably feel good about having 100 gigs set aside just for Windows. And the way I'm gonna do that is simply just click and drag this over right to 100, or right at about 100. Let's see if we can get it right, there you go. Once I've selected the ISO and I've partitioned the space, for Windows to run, all I have to do is simply hit install and that's it. You'll go through the installation process, Boot Camp will finish, and you'll have the ability to boot right into Windows having a side-by-side -side installation of Mac OS and Windows. So you'll have the option to use either Mac OS or Windows when you boot your computer, you'll be able to make that selection or you can change it at any point and, and tell your computer which operating system you want to boot. Now, this is not ideal if someone is gonna be, has to hop in there really quick, but if you need to use um, Windows Boot Camp, makes it very easy for you to be able to boot into it. So again, very quick and easy way to set up a Windows operating system on a Mac computer. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section of this video. Show your support, like the video, don't forget to subscribe, and also check us out on the web at itcaustin.com. Thanks for watching.